What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So you just installed a wheel without an airbag. Well, let me show you how to get rid of that airbag light so you don't have to worry about it on the dash. All right, first things first, you're gonna wanna pick up some 3.3 ohm resistors. You can get a hundred of them on Amazon for about six bucks. Now, heat shrink is optional, but it is not necessary, about six bucks from your parts store. If you don't feel like using a soldering iron for this job, wire nuts are a great alternative. They're only about 10 bucks from any auto parts store and a big variety pack. Now, the next thing that I can recommend that you pick up would be a soldering iron kit. This is about 30 bucks on Amazon. It's gonna come with practically everything you're going to need to do this job and plenty of jobs in the future. The soldering iron isn't really anything too special, but it does have heat adjustment and variable size tips so you can kind of fine tune whatever you need for whatever job you're doing. Now the next thing I can recommend you pick up would be this soldering flux. It's going to help uh, both connections bond together better with the solder and it's really only like 10 bucks so it's definitely worth the purchase. Next you'll need your solder wire. I use this resin core based stuff, but you can kind of use whatever you'd like. Um, it's only about 10 bucks from your parts store. Lastly, you're gonna need a damp sponge just to burn off any of the burnt solder that you get on the iron as you're doing the soldering. You'll need to locate where your airbag harness connects to from the car to the steering wheel. And if you've installed a steering wheel, you've most likely already cut this. But on the E36, it's uh, right under the steering column uh, and it's really accessible. You just need to give it a firm pull and it'll pop right out. All right, now that you've removed the harness from the car, you wanna start by cutting off any twisted or binded up ends from either side of the wire. Then you just have a clean wire to start with. You'll then wanna strip the wire about a quarter inch back. You can strip it with strippers or a pocket knife, whatever you have. You can play with the temperature setting on the soldering iron. I find around 700 Fahrenheit would do the trick. Now you're ready to solder dip both ends of the wire in the flux as well as dipping the soldering iron in the flux. Hold the resistor up to each end and get to soldering. All you're going to do is melt some solder onto your iron and lightly coat it to either end of the connection. So you just want to hold the resistor up to each end of the wire and connect the two. I don't know how else to explain it. Sorry the camera work is a bit spotty. I could not see what I was uh, recording here. I will now demonstrate that the light is off. So key is out, we're gonna pop it back in and you will see now that you've wired in your little emulator with that 3.3 ohm resistor. If we look here, goodbye light, it is gone. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. And now when I turn on the car, there will be no more lights. So what I'm gonna do, this has been soldered. I'm just going to quickly put some electrical tape over that and we'll patch it all up, put the little plastic guard under the column and then we should be good to go. You won't have to worry about this again. It's a really great way to just trick out the uh, airbag light. And the cool thing about soldering is if you decide to use an airbag in the future, you can just, you know, solder on the connection for the new airbag. It's really uh, an easily reversible process. I mean, you could even just go and get a whole new harness piece there. Um, but yeah, it's soldered, so uh, I would call it a success.